Right, guys, welcome back. Yay, more killing and murdering and stuff to be done. Woohoo! Right, um, as I recall, we have to go see Nazir do some more side contracts. Yay, because, you know, they want to pad it out. And we can go kill more people. How are you doing? Come a time when the people of Skyrim don't keep no walking away. Oh, that was weird. With a well, -placed spell. well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Vampire Hearn, I know that one. Oh, fuck you, controller. Stop doing that to me. Thank you. Your first target is an orc Lurbuk. named Lurbuk. Oh dear. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Happy I love Lurbuk. He's so terrible, it's unbelievable. He should be in Morthal, I wanna say, off the top of my head. God, I'm a sad kid. Do you do? Let's just hope that Liddy doesn't drop me in the shit. She probably will. Hey ho. Thank you, loading screen. Right. So now should be. Don't tell me. Yeah, it hasn't even. No, not that one. That one. I haven't even been to Morthal yet. Bloody hell. Um. Fuck it. Let's go to the abandoned shack and have a nice little shamble through. Oh, so pointy. I will have that soon. Mark my words. Also, you'd be bugged if you ever need to scratch your chin in there. Right, where is it? That way? That way. Where's my bow? Yay! Because there will be douchebags. paranoid in this bloody swamp. It's not vampires trying to get you, it's freaking mud crabs that just appear out of nowhere. Arseholes. Ooh, I'm tempted. What cave is it? Also, swamp fungal pods. Yay! Pretty sure those are a dawn guard edition. Is this <gasps> Morvath? Movath, even. <clears throat> That's a fun little side quest. This town is just full of arseholes, anyway. I can't remember the name of the wizard, then. his name. Hmm. Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come. She did. What's the Yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? I now get yourself a sword. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Wouldn't you need a wizard to fight the wizard? 
you know. Your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. You are surrounded by a swamp, you idiot. Also, you have a member of the Dark Brotherhood just stood in front of you. Duh. Jeez, these people are intelligent. Oh, hello, Lerbuck. How you doing, buddy? Is um, for my next anyone else? Already? <laughs> Come on. Shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Shut up. Mm. You're gonna be awkward, aren't you? Let's see. Are you hiding? There. Uh, I'm not gonna have killing you in front of her. Yana, do you think the townspeople are warming to my serenades? No, they ain't. And they aren't gonna. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. <laughs> yes, but they'll come around eventually. You'll see. Ah, uh, shouldn't be surprised if they come around. And if you're never seen or heard from again. But go hide in your room or something. No, you're just gonna carry on being awkward. This could very much end badly, but eh, let's go for it anyway. Hey, watch it! Help! Somebody help! Oh fuck. I do wish you had the quick sack and quick load functions, but no, you need the fucking connect for that. Where the hell am I going to be using that shite? Oh, come on. Fast forward ten hours. Go hide in your room. Let me kill you in silence and secret and stuff. Douche. Yeah, go on, go to your room. The townspeople are go to your room. No, they a hole. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Yes, but they'll come around eventually. No, they won't! Shut up and go in your room! If they come around. And if you're never seen or heard from again... Go to your... No. Arsehole. Alright, let's go midnight. <sighs> Why won't people who are supposed to die cooperate? Where are you now? Oh, go to your fucking room. Don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. No, because it's like quarter past midnight in the fucking morning. Go to your room. Welcome to the Moor side. Thank you. Why do I not have Blade of Woe? Where are you? What have I done? Thank you. So stupid. Yay! What do you got? Chicken, lockpick. Why do you even have a lockpick? I do not know. Eh, what's in your chest? No, that's a. What if I want to steal a basket? Fuck off. Oh. Want something to eat? And you. Fuck you, you're having your basket then. Have that. I don't think I'm hungry. Ooh, Alva, hello. Right. Okay. Uh, tell me if you change your mind. Oh, that was the funniest dialogue ever. I love you, Alva. Even though you're not quite what you seem. So, um, yes. Hello.
do note, wonderful people, I also kind of have an audience while recording this, and I'm getting rather dirty looks. Oh dear. Oops, a daisy. Anyway, Lerbeck's taken care of. Let's go see Hearn. Which I probably shouldn't kill him so soon until I go and do something, but... Eh, fuck it. Why are you giving static avatar of Wood Elf the Nightingale bow when it near yeah, just seems a bit stupid. I know you're trying to shut off the weapon, but come on. What do you use something better than moody looking Wood Elf? Right, we want to go away. Uh... No, we're staying away from wooded areas, thank you. Yeesh. Oh, that was a weird flash. There's quite a few graphical errors going on at the minute. It's not like my, well, my version of Skyrim. Never this bad. You're just having a shot on Xbox, hmm? Because they're not playing you as much anymore. Yay! And normally I would take my sweet time coming here to take care of Hearn. Only because his wife Hurt, yes, that's her name, strangely enough, um, actually sells you lumber to do with the Hearthfire deal, so it's not really major because there's a load of other um, lumber mills about, but you know, nothing suspectful, apart from bloody rags, but you have venison and beef. So it all seems perfectly normal, kind of. I know this is going to end bad low. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Yeah, cause your eyes aren't a dead giveaway. Also the way that they talk is just... Well now, what have we here? A last little lamb? So creepy. You need to... Hmm... Well then, you won't be leaving here alive. You want a bet? Yeah. I don't want to go killing her though. Hey, be careful. Oh well, you die. Awesome. Don't you just love it when you get funny kills like that? I'm sorry, Hurt. Don't know why I picked up a keeper. Hey ho. Anything decent to loot? Probably not. Never do. Uh, more meat. I mean, there's nothing else around really to sort of state that they're vampires other than their own face. No. I like the cow hide though. Mm. No, alright. Boring vampires. Also, I really don't know why I keep getting that weird line on the side of the screen. But meh. Don't think anything's gonna blow up anytime soon. Certainly hope not. Jeez. Isn't that just a wonderful image to have? No, just a 
dried out corpse dangling before you. Thanks. Not nightmare fuel at all. And the fact that, you know, he talks to you. And, yeah. Hail Sithis, yay. Sickos. Also, idea for future Bethesda games and fast travelling, if you're going to a specific location with an interior, it should give you the option whether or not you want to go inside or outside when you're choosing to fast travel. Because I hate double loading screens when you want to go inside somewhere. Meh. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. Ooh. If father really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. No, so pretty go, sad, sir. Go to Volenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Amand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay. So, you... you... <sighs> Loading screen. You see, it would help if there was actually something to do within the sanctuary, other than an enchanting table and an alchemy table, which I never use. Arse. It's not like I pick up any more side contracts either until this one's done. Ugh. How is one of the world's most domestic animals? Ugh. Stupid. Right, where are we going? Oh, I didn't even. Get cut. Fuck it. We will go see him on Motier anyway. There we go. There it is. Looking straight at me. <laughs> I think halted stream camp would be the closest point. Ah, oh, pretty and horny. More dirty looks, people. More dirty looks. I do like it though when you're wearing it, you get this lovely red glow. And that probably just cut off half of what I was saying. Arsehole. Also, avoiding pit. You guys respawned yet? I think you have. No, you haven't. Oh, that's a shame. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. If I remember my law correctly, those are actually two of the gods who just decided, you know, oh, fuck it, we'll turn into moons. Because, you know, why not? And it's supposed to be that those aren't actually stars. It's sort of like tiny little hole pockets in... Oblivion, I think. And what you can actually see there is what is essentially heaven, where the Aedra are, which are the gods, and all the cold blackness of space is actually oblivion, where all the Daedra are, which is just bizarre. But okay, if that's how your universe works, go for it. I ain't gonna bloody argue. You know, there's stranger things that go on in our own sort of ancient lore and 
religion. What was it? There was the one ancient Egyptian god who was the sky itself. She's just weird. Also, another weird thing, there's a lot of incest with gods and old religions and that's just really odd. Ooh, that's another quest, but ah, oh, you bastard. Thank you. Douche. You stay dead. Ah, oh, don't want the battle axe. Anything else of worth? No. Doo doo doo. We want. Yeah. No. Nice of you to take care of these guys, and there should be, as I recall, yes, ebony weapons. Nice bit of uh, loot we can sell. Okay, everybody. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Ah, oh, hello, Amani. The Almighty Divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Well, no shit. Oh, I know, I know. But I'm so glad you're here. Please, allow me to state my business. Surely your time is as valuable as my own. I would yeah, like probably more so. Contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. Ooh, tantalizing. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. Maybe. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. Go on. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Oh! Awesome! That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your um, superior. Rexus? The items. See, why doesn't he actually do the clap? That's annoying. Really annoying. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Awesome. Right, anything in the chest? Ooh. Yoink. I have vowed to serve. Also, yoink. Until my dying breath. Best remember that. Well, you're a fool. But okay. In there. Oh yeah, that's where he was doing the Black Sacrament. Where the hell these guys get human heart and flesh from, I don't know. No, wait, yes I do. There's a certain butcher in Markarth who we will uh, visit at some point. Yeah, there's a fair few dodgy people in this game. Woo! Super floaty time! Yes! Oh. I really like super floaty time. Right, tell you what, let's have a look. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Jeweled amulet. Ooh, pretty. Shame you can't keep it. Probably if I had PC version, I can use console commands and uh, 
just reacquire it. But where's the fun in that? It's something like the Dragon Crown as well, which you can get during the... What was it? The Civil War questline, yes. When you learn one of the shouts and you're picking a side and yada yada yada. It looks awesome. It goes so well with the Dragon Bone and Dragon Scale armor. But you don't keep it. That's like bullshit. And you can't make it either. Yeah. Unless there is a weird kooky way to keep it, but I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I really hate all these loading screens. I want to kill people, please. Thunderstorm? <laughs> uh, what can I say? It happened just. Shut up, old man. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. I should certainly hope not. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Oh. You and I are kindred spirits, Nazir. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Shan and a car contracted while I'm a werewolf. But maybe, at some killed. point, I'll say. Also, before the Dawnguard DLC, that statement he made about her and would it be more imposing? But seeing as vampires are a dime a dozen now, it's sort of, eh, okay, I face them on a semi-regular basis. More so than you face dragons, which is a shame. Anyway, let's have a talk to Blondie. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this motier? What did he want? Uh, ooh, he wants me to have fun. You're joking. No. What's this? Oh, and I wanted to read the letter, but meh. By Sithis, you're not joking. Oh, I just said! The Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Oh, <gasps> since the last game, ooh. You know, murderers of Patrick Stewart, you bastards. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. Because I'm the listener? Yeah, exactly nah. If you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... Is fun times! <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. Woohoo! You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter. And figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. 
That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh -huh, history. He can be trusted. Awesome. It's only been a while since I myself have seen Delvin. And his brother, who only came about because of the Dragonborn DLC. Sorry, dude, you are trying too hard. Yeah, you know, the whole point in stealthy assassinations is stealth, not screaming your head off. Idiot. Still, you got himself some dead equipment. Not bad. Also, he had a right tight ass. Yeah, I'm getting more really bad looks here, people. Oh, you know, just the Imperial Emblem. <laughs> oh, we've got nothing else to show you, just half the Imperial Emblem. Go for it. You know what, I might actually have that as a tattoo. Wouldn't be half bad. But maybe the full version instead of the slightly damaged version. Riften looking for trouble. I am trouble, you dickhead. That's the wrong answer. Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. Also, I'm rather impressed I avoided him last time I came to Riften. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Also, you just gave away everything. If I was secretly an authority figure, you've just told me the entire operation. Idiot! Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? My brother Dirge was mm, naughty Skype. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. And you know what? Brynjolf will actually be there in the marketplace, even though it's technically not time. And I'll sort you out at some point. Unless. Huh? What do you want? Uh, we, we might as well help you anyway, Shada. I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in White Run to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. I don't think she'll kill you. Oh, fuck you, controller. And no, it's not the batteries, it's just a dodgy connection. Thank you. Uh... You will? Oh, thank you. I'll do more than just pay off your debt, mate. I'll punch you in the face. Where is Bring Off? He's not there? Okay. Odd. Whee! I'm actually wondering how long it's been since I've actually been down in the right way. I haven't touched upon the Thieves Guild quest line for quite some time. Oh dear, did you just fall over? Oh, fuck you too. Yeah, 
Chuppy Chup. Chapter of farm just outside Rifton, who ends up bitching because his favourite bow was stolen. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Uh, meh. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. But it certainly does when you have the quest active. So, yeah. Though, oh, I will be able to get the gloves of the pugilist. No, she not. Usually it's Tina Ray Handley. What was the male one that Danny came up with? I don't know. Also, Dead Skiva. That's not the usual thing. Mm. No, nothing shiny. Gloves. Still, dead skiver is a bit weird. Where is he? Key. Oh, yeah, just go after Lydia. That's nice. Right, now that enchantment is hilarious. If you end up making it just right, you can go round and just one punch everybody. I may have to do that at some point, or at least just make it strong enough so I can have a good fist fight. Ow, bear traps. Let me see on there. No. Woo. Now this is an odd one as well. Every now and then, this battle axe isn't here. But who, pray tell, is actually using it? And also, if that is a well that you can clearly see outside into, why can't you just jump in? I can never tell where that is. Also, where's the vagrant? Ooh, it's female this time. Headshot. Lydia! Alright, fine, you fucking kill stealing bitch. I'll have you later. Mark my words, Lydia. You'll get yours. Yoink. Anything else new? Ah, eh, that's locked. Can't be asked. Just activate that. Thank you. Uh, backside is going numb. This is what I get when I sit on the sofa. But at least he's not squeaking. So ha. Ah. It has been an awful long time since I've had the thief guild up to a uh, scratch. Also, new NPC over there, as if I don't murder her. The face sculptor. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna Seriously? be trouble. Seriously? Just a steel war axe? Hey, you're useless. You'd better have coin to pay for your drink. Hello, Delvin. Oh, now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The rat way. Well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Eh, uh, I'm fucking walking away. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? 
tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Mm. Nah, but we can discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Oh, just a few things, my dear boy. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Buy it. This, an Elder Council amulet. Capex. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, don't get too horny, mate. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. Ooh. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. I will do, Delvin. Oh, shush, Vex. You look so bitter. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. And you can shut up. But yeah, I think she was here from Suppose I can work with your fate. Dawn Guard. Oh, cannot always choose the finest clay. I assumed you Yes. About your and this, much like the surgeon Fallout 3, she can rearrange your face for you, but can't change your race or gender. Just your face. Mm-hmm. Still. Pretty awesome though overall. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. Well fuck you and all then. Mm. Maybe I don't want to talk to you, stuck up cow. Oh, it is a damn good thing as well that they put the face sculptor in, because there's this rather weird glitch with vampirism. At least with the um, Parker hair vampires. When you have, I do believe it's eyeshadow on a female character and she becomes a vampire, it ends up causing dirt to appear on the face. Which is another weird thing, because she will not do any work on a vampire, because... With the Dawn Guard, it specifically makes changes to the sculpture of the face. So then you have to cure yourself of vampirism, get your face altered, then go back to being a vampire, and then you look alright again. Which is a bit convoluted and long-winded, but it works just about. But at least I actually had a way of sorting out some of these glitches. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no thief running about. At least when you join the Thieves Guild, every now and then there is a thief running around with the same voice every time. And he's always got a bunch of stuff on him and all the guards chase him. He's bloody hilarious. And you're more than welcome to take him out as well. You don't get anything from it, but you can always sell all of the junk that he has on. Not like the guards take it back to give it back to the owners of said stuff. Which just seems... pointless. Uh, but it's a video game. What are you going to do? <gasps> Bone mould. Oh. And chitting armour. I do like the chitting. Chitty, chitty, chitting. saying you can now craft other armor sets thanks to the Dragonborn DLC which is pretty damn good because some of these other sets 
are a bit out of place, you might think, on the smithing tree. Because you can do, with the chitin armour, light and heavy armour. So if you were following the light armour side of the smithing tree, you can still work on your heavy armour skills. Which is still pretty good if you're trying to balance yourself. But, eh, that's another thing. You're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Oh, it's more than authentic, love. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Uh, more so. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Awesome! I love weddings. Well, Not. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stay awesome. with the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is... <laughs> Very well. The target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Remember, we want people to notice. Kill Vici while she's addressing her guests, as is the custom, and I can promise a bonus. Woohoo! Now go, and give the bride a special kiss from me. Come on then, drop the text box. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, I'll just do it then. Screw you. Now, this is great now, from this point on, with specific quest kills you're going to be doing, you can always earn extra bonuses. One of them being Shadowmere, which is an awesome horse. One of them being Spectral Assassin. Who is pretty damn powerful. Also, there's a special gem you can get that you end up giving to a lava the feeble in White Run, which leads on to a rather nice set of army you can get hold of. I think there's a couple of other things as well, but I can't quite remember. I would think Festus will give you a fancy ring, but uh, with everything else I've got going on, it's pointless. Oh, solitude. Hmm. You know what? I think when I get to solitude, I'll buy some fancy clothes, just so I can mingle. Also, that is going to be the worst sort of outfit for this weather. Where am I? Right. Come on, Dushington. Come out with more nonsense. Did I just see a dragon? Is that a dragon? No. Oh, I'm seeing things. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? You really want to fight a dragon. Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already... Ah, it's only the relatively new capital, you douche. Used to be Windhelm. But, you know, some fucker wanted to make it Solitude, so there you go. Then again, the Imperials probably thought that was too cold. Sissies. Oh, 
Yes, we haven't been here quite yet, so now we get to see an execution. I should go down to that farm. Also, excuse me, I'm about to fart. Hopefully that didn't pick up. But you know, anyway. Uh, stupid tree. Oh, that's bad. Oh. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak. Uh, no, I'm not joining the Legion. Shut up. Well, maybe at some point. I don't know. I still haven't decided who I'm going to join up with. Go on, are you going to come up with nonsense? No. Alright, fine. Yes, that fart was so bad, my audience has just left. Audience specifically being the girlfriend. Yes. She is real. Don't mock me. Or judge me, you weirdos. Meh. Also, hello Argonian. At least it's a male one, not the female one from the lusty Argonian maid story, which, oh god, I may read at some point. It's kind of weird. Position. But then again, you know, Rule 34 and Argonians just go together like, yeah, no. Anyway, hello Rogfear. She's shaking her head at me again. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Oh, no, because he was using shouts. So that's not fair combat, is it? On this day, I go to Sovereign Guard. Well, I don't think so. Also, we can get that axe if we make friends with the Executioner. Oh. Look at you, Stumpy. How you doing? Also, I could take his amulet of Talos now, but it would make it really, really buggy and screw up another weird side quest. So we're not going to. We will talk to you later, my good friend. Yes. Though the axe itself isn't exactly powerful, so you will need to fiddle around with enchantments. Anyway, let's go into Radiant Raymond's. No, that's bits and pieces. That one's Radiant Raymond's. There we go. Boop. I would like some fancy clothes, please. If not, let me know. Hello. You've got... Oh, you're Gizly, you ugly bitch. I don't like you. Where is, um... Oh, there you are. Oh, what, delight. what the I fucking hell are you doing in here? Customer. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Ooh, do, 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 do. This is actually a brilliant place to get some of the uh, rarer enchantments as well, if you're lucky. Yeah. Hmm. Got any fine clothes? Uh, Sodder exclusive. Ooh, I like those. Hmm. Yeah, go for the black boots. We'll have... Yeah. To wear the hat. As we'll buy the gloves. Even though I've already got a pair of gloves somewhere. What else she got? Oh, 
team building show group. No, nothing with water breathing either. Or archery. Also, that's new. I never know they did that. Then again, I never really did come in here after Dawnguard. But thank you, you condescending bitch. Anyway, let's dress up. Don't tell me, Alpha. Yeah, I already had a pair of gloves, didn't I? I should have remembered. Ooh, don't we look smashing? Right, let's hide our weapons. Because it will not do to be walking around looking like we're about to start murdering people. Um, shield. Oh, yeah, dear. I wonder, can we blend in? Maybe, as long as nobody looks at my blacked out eyes. It's cool, I'm just a visitor from a far off land. Yes. Uh, let's go this way. I wonder if the crazy person is going around. Then again, there's lots of crazy people, including myself. He's all fun. Dude, it's a dummy. Seriously. I'm so glad Victoria and Asgard have chosen public reception. That way the entire city can share in their holy bond. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. Well, I'm, aren't you a pretty thing? I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm tried to be worried. Such <laughs> kindness for me. See, now this is actually quite an important sort of wedding because it's an imperial with a Nord, Make sure to get yourself a member of the Imperial Capital, with a member of Skyrim. So, you know, two extremely important people and we're about to completely and utterly destroy everything. It's not just a union between two lovers, no, it's, it's a union between two nations. And we're about to fuck it right up. Hmm. Alright, where's my wonderful door upstairs? That one? Ah, it's the Temple of the Divines. Oh, no, it's this door. Don't you dare crash. Thank you. Oh, Elixir of True Shop. A load of arrows on the floor. Oh, hint, hint, hint. Should be a boat here as well. There it is. What was that called? Perennials end. Ooh, even though my bow is far superior. Oh, it's just not right either. I could actually go up the stair where they are, come out there. Or, there's another doorway somewhere. But fuck it. Right, let's get on. That one, that one, that one. And that one. Yes. Come on, Victoria. Where are you? Yes. Address the people. I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here. To thank you for sharing this Go straight for the face. A pretty, pretty face. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today. Yeah, it's put such fears aside. Enjoy yourselves. Whoosh! You have all held that fucking missed. Extraordinary wedding. All of my dreams have come true. So thank come you. Come on. Thank you. Drop the eye. Thank you. Awesome. And everybody wants to kill me. But I want her clothes. No. No. Thank you, snake dude. Uh, do do do, dum -de dum La la la. Lydia. Uh, don't crash. Don't. Thank you. I want your wedding dress. 
Ooh, amethyst. 50 gold. <gasps> Ooh, I have no idea where your house is, but I will have to find it now. Ah, the wedding band. I'll keep that. I'll wear that. Take that one. Wear that. Wear that. I'll have my arrow back. Eh. Oh, you, you had a dagger, did you? It didn't fucking do much for you, did it? Idiot. You know what? Let's have some fun. But first, don't I look pretty? Um. Oh, I know, because that's the peril. Yay! The you. Is there anybody dead? <gasps> oh! The husband's dead as well. Yoink! Ooh, Penitus Oculatus! Seriously, I have that much HP, you can't do shit! Oh. I probably will never be able to return to solitude. I don't care. Come on, chop, 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 chop. No, all right. Can we please not murder the priest? Oh shit, he's the captain of the guard. Can't do jack all against him. Uh, no murdering Lydia, please. Steal all of his stuff. Steal all of his stuff. Move! Right. Bye! Fuck! Move! Idiots! All of you! No, fuck you. See, I'm still an adventurer. You didn't get me in the knee. Uh, shit, I really should be putting my armor on. Uh. Oh, I love having this much stamina. Quick, come on. Where's the quick exit? Is this one? This one? Yes, it's this one. Yoink! Wanna go down? Yes, we wanna go down. Oh, that was awesome. And that, people, is the only reason why you should go for an Argonian. Because I can breathe underwater. That's it. Freeze up an enchantment slot for later. Uh, oh shit, they're still after me. Yee, bay bay. Right, come on then, Astrid. You better have a nice little gift for me. And that just cut me off. I know it did. Oh fuck, I really need to remember this. You shoot again, you top knot weirdo. Ugh, pretentious fucker. No, I don't care if you've got gallstones. Yeesh. Fuck you and all! Sorry, there was somebody being rather rude and tooting their horn. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Well, thank you. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death. <gasps> awesome! Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. 
simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Nice, 1,500. Now, if we have a look at, where is it, that one? So he's on the powers and he's pretty damn good. Lucian Lockhans, and I'm pretty sure he was in Oblivion. Ah, oh, there he is. Wearing the mage set. Can't talk to him directly, but he does come out with some rather interesting comments. Can't remember how long he stays. Oh, there you go, until he's defeated. Which just makes him one of the best summons going. Anyway, let's go see Gabriella. Ooh. A good purification might be just what this sanctuary needs. Hmm. You see, now he's going to start coming out with quite a few lines that sort of allude to future events or preferable outcomes, as it were. Anyway, let's talk to our wonderful dark elf friend here. Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Mm -hmm. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. Ooh. are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Yes, because this isn't going to go wrong. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Oh, yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, oh, I can do that. Discovered quickly, as with a letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Perhaps Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Ooh. And that will actually give you some rather nice armor. Which is similar to what you already have, but is a lot stronger and the enchantments are a little bit more potent. Still damn good. Highly recommend it for anybody who wants to do a Dark Brotherhood run through before cheating the game like I did. Oopsie. Oh. These Penitus Oculatus will prove equally incompetent. <laughs> I love you. So, I do look ever so fetching in this wedding dress. Which is nice, though. He's like the only set in the entire game. Because even when you have your own wedding, you don't get any wedding clothes, which is just weird. Anyway, let's go back to uh, Catler's farm. Let's just hope none of the guards spot us. 
you know, because we're a wanted woman and all that, because we didn't run. Oops. I wonder what the bounty is at the minute. It's got to be, what, 2,000? Possibly three? Oopsie. Because it's 1,000 for outright killing anyone. It's what? 50 to 100 for just assaulting someone? Let's have a look. Crime. Oh! I'm wanted in the rift for a thousand. Halfinger for two thousand. I think solitude comes into Halfinger. I do believe. Where did I get another? Interesting. I don't know where the other 1,025 was from. Eh, no matter. I don't care. I made a wedding dress and look all pretty. Oh! You have committed crimes against Sky Hello! And people. What say you in your defence? Um, you know, I am loaded. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. No! Don't take my shiny things! You'll be free to go. It shouldn't be a whole lot. Eh, fine, take it. Whatever. And I've just committed murder anyway. You would think it would lock me up, not just take 2,000 gold off me. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear boy, but your daughter's life is only worth 1,000 gold. There you go. So, oh, thanks. Is that going to pay for the burial? Uh, no. Well then, go fuck yourself. I'll be back for my stuff at some point. Just you watch. Anyway. Where were we? Oh yes. Off to Dragon's Bridge. To go commit more murder. Yay. Oh, look at that shield. So shiny and pointy and red and black and ouchy. Ooh. Right. No more interruptions, please. We're on a journey and we're going to go see the sights and wonderful people and see how the true Guardians of the Empire operate like a bunch of idiots, hopefully. And yes, Miridi, we will see you at some point. I think I'll do the Dark Brotherhood quest line to full completion first. And then we'll have a look at some of the data quests. As I do on your pointy sword. Stabby stabby. Should probably also go and get your shout. Hey, you keep your beam of light. And why am I paranoid and thinking there's going to be a dragon attack at some point? Come on, Spectral Assassin. And you Lydia lazy fuck. Oh! I knew it! Hello, dragon. Let me put my armor on. No. Don't get distracted by other enemies. What is he going to do? Get distracted by other enemies. Okay, dragon. Do oh, you were coming here to go see uh, Victoria's wedding, weren't you? You douche. Come on, dragon. I want your bones. Missed. Thank you. No, but where are you going? Oh, right, where's my mark for death? Thank you. Come on. Where are you? There. Hello. 
Not kidding. I don't know. Oh, not the horsey. Get down here, dragon. Fighting this time. Oh, cuddly bear, and I just miss. I hate murdering the animals in this game. And I just received the look of, what the fuck you want about, you just went and killed him. I know! It's just... <sighs> Sometimes I wish I was a wood elf and do the weird, calm, animal things, but at the same time I know there is the shout that can do it. Well, there's two shouts. Kind's Peace and... Another one where they end up joining you. Where are you? Q? Yeah. Land, silly dragon. There we go. Now you're going to be a walk in the park. He was probably one of the more powerful shouts in the entire game. Nice. Who are you murdering? No, that's a plant. There's no one else around. Eh, oh well. Whee! Though, if we quickly head towards... Look at my temple lying in ruins. Shut up, woman! If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Well, maybe if you stop being a crazy maniacal Daedra, and, you know. But this is what I wanted. Ooh. Now that's pretty fun. That makes you have extremely quick weapon strikes, especially at full strength. However, you can't use it if you have an enchanted weapon. Now, I think reportedly there's a slight glitch. If you use it while having a bow first, then switch to an enchanted weapon, then it will still actually be active, which just seems bizarre. But yeah, I'm not complaining. Excuse me. I am complaining about the belching there. Not necessary. It's not like I have the Ring of Nimira yet. Then I'll start doing the belching on cue. Yay! Because eating people's entrails is fun. Father, I'm worried so much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look out. See, now it would have been nice if they'd actually given Gaius a more defined face. And a slightly different voice to the generic guard voice, which there are three of. Whereas Commander Morrow, however, has a rather nice looking face with that weird Italian Frenchman moustache thing. Yeah. Oh, hello, gentlemen. I'm just going to do it the skin for me. Uh, 
Anybody about? Oh, just you. Enjoying your meal. Um. Where's my stabby stabby weapon? Oh! He took my blade of woe! That isn't good. Oh well. Yoink. Oh, well, before I kill Gaius, I want my Blade of Woe back. for that look, Mr. Werewolf, huh? Did somebody steal your doggy bone? Oh, and that's Temple of freaking Douchebag, not Solitude. Every time I look at that battle axe, I wonder, did they design it to be a toothpick for the giants? Probably. And the problem is, you can't capture dragon souls in them! I know you're the dragonborn and all that, and you're supposed to be able to absorb the souls. But it would be cool if you could have them in a specific sort of soul gem. Also, vampires, come and destroy things, please. I want a bit of excitement in my life. That was the first dragon in forever. No. All right, suit yourselves. God. And you can shut up, Jari. Is that another dragon? No, that's just a look. Hi, I'm just going to look inside the castle tower. Also, why has nobody stopped me? I'm wandering around in full shrouded armour. That's uh, come on, belongings chest. Though I wouldn't mind uh, having a bag of gold. I mean, Fourteen, seriously. These penitents, Angela. someone's a bit stingy. Oh, um. Someone got a little bit too kinky there. Oops. Stalking your prey, planting false evidence, Hello. destroying an innocent man's reputation. Truly a contract worthy of the listener. Yes, yes it is. And um, just yoink. How is that shouldn't be empty? Oh, 
Unless there's another chest. It's that one. Yes. Void. Oh, this is going to annoy me. Oh, no. Oh, don't. Don't you start doing this fucking shit with me again. Just there. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need that. Awesome. Also, what did I do with the blade of Mafala? Because I do remember doing that quest. So... Unless I put it in my special weapons chest and just forgot about it. Which is more than likely. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Well, go do it then. Clearly you're wasting your time doing fuck all in a prison. You can't stop me from stealing my own stuff back. So, you know, go turn into vampire fodder. I do believe we're going to murder Gaius and then call it a night. Otherwise, I'll just keep playing and playing and playing. And playing some more. Which isn't very productive, is it? Well, for me it is, but for certain company, obviously not. And that would prove rather bad on my part. Hmm. Oops. Right, let me just check that uh, schedule. It's Turdus. Not Turd, but Turdus. Uh, where is it? Come on, open. So, he's in Windhelm. On. No, that's. that's this is Turtle Species Thursday. He's in White Run. Friday, he's in Markarth. And then Saturday and Sunday, he's wherever the fuck he wants to be. So, I think we will stick around here. Will we, won't we? Because it's Turders. By the time we get to Markarth, no, it'll be too late. So I think. Oop! We're just going to be rather bored and look at the countdown clock. Yay! Because I'm sorry, I'm not chasing him halfway around Skyrim just to have him end up back here. Also, it's nice being able to see where the shadows go. There goes the hawk again. You know what? We might as well get a bit of excitement. Just in case the vampires turn up. I've got a little word. Or a dragon. No, just just a hawk. Or. You are. No. Oh. Where are you running off to? It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well. -made... So yeah, not exactly very thrilling gameplay here. 
But this is the sort of shit you have to put up with sometimes. Oh, stormy day. Come on, dude. Seriously, you didn't want to come back to... No, oh, well, sod you then. Also, slight update on the whole Bravely Second thing, which I know I keep raving about in every video I have been doing lately. It's still fucking awesome, and it has impressed me, very much so. There's a weird time travel thing going on, and the way to implement it was to fiddle around with New Game Plus. I was rather impressed. Very clever how they uh, implemented said thingy Anyway. Oh yeah, spoilers for coming out with that. Oops. I wouldn't say it's major spoilers because you've got to do extra things on top so hopefully it hasn't revealed too much. Oh, come on, Gaius, it's Monday. You're supposed to be here now. You've gone straight to the cat, oh, you fucker. Well then, we'll take care of you, mate. Won't we? Oh, hello, gentlemen. I don't look suspicious at all. Every day, more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. My time is not a cause predicting million. Call it whatever you like, gentlemen. Lie down or do something. You know, you're in a room full of guards. Please. On the other hand, lie down. Or look away. Oh, he's a legger. Therefore he's a protected NPC, I think. I'm just gonna save it and make sure. Whoops! Finger slipped. Can't force a Nora to accept help he hasn't asked for. Hello. A contract worthy of the listener. Last mistake. No, oops. I made a boo-boo. Also, he looks as though he's just heard a hilarious joke and wants to tell everybody. To accept help, he hasn't asked. Keep back. Oh, stop moaning about the storm cloaks. He's giving you something to do. You guys get paid outrageous amounts of money anyway. Can't we? You just turn around. Because you know, every now and then I get a little bit lonely. I have important business I must attend to. You Nords and your bloody ah, sense of honor. yes. Sir. Solitude. Keep back, Seat citizen. Of the oh, business I must attend to. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, you can keep all that. You know, we'll read his touching letter from father. My son. In order for the Penitus Oculatus to ensure the safety of our honoured Emperor during his visits to Skyrim, we must personally verify the security of every city in the province. 
To this end, I appoint you my personal representative, granting all rights and privileges of all afforded uh, a commanding officer of the Penitus Oculatus. You are authorised to speak with my voice and administer with my hand. Well, now you're just getting weird, mate. Mm. Gaius, I cannot do this alone. There is much work to be done here in Dragon Bridge. Yep, Dragon Bridge. Mm. There's no S, you dickhead. And elsewhere. And many arrangements still to be made before the Emperor's arrival. I simply cannot afford to spend time travelling right now. But you must know the seriousness of the task I set before you. Why do they have weird, bloody text that looks as though it should have commas after it? I don't know, it looks weird. When he arrives, the Emperor may choose to visit any city in Skyrim as suits his whim, because he's a ponce. If he does so, we, the Penitus Oculatus, must be sure that security within those cities is sufficient to deal with any threat to his person that may arise. You've got dragons about, mate. I don't think your lads are going to be able to sort out dragons. Uh. Gaius, my beloved son. Okay, you're getting really mushy here, mate. You may be new to the Penisus. Uh, no, 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 no. The group of dickheads in black. There we go. But I need someone I can trust. Don't go for your own son, then. God! You must carry out your duty for the safety of the Emperor, the glory of the Penitus Oculatus, and the honour of Maro family name. Your superior officer and loving further, Commander Maro. Well, mate, you're a bit fucked. And everyone's getting up now. I'm fucking. No! No, because you'll just take my. Go away! No! Ow! Oh, because you'll take my life away and don't want you to. You meanies. You'll take away all my shiny toys. And I'm pretty sure I just saw Legget Ricker's name in there as well. Which is bad. Not that she can die. It's still bad. Also, another pointy helmet. Run! Fuck this shit! <sighs> yes, I know, I just did a meme, but shh. No, you can all feck off. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm innocent, I tell you. Innocent! It was the cat! Blame it on the cat. Everyone blames it all on the cats. Poor Khajiit. Check out that standing stone anyway. Do 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 Who's nearby? They're over there! I don't know where I am. Kind of. Nope, still not far enough away. Oh. I'll probably disturb a load of mud cups. Seriously? Oh, that was not. 
That wasn't a guard. I want to go back and see where that was. Um, Chorus? What the fuck? What the hell are you doing here? Don't run. No, come on. You picked a fight with me. You picked a fight with me, you idiot. Also, I think uh, my dag is a little bit OP. But I don't care. Uh -huh. Seeing as we're so close, we'll run over to the Sanding Stone, go back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, and go, Hey, Gabrielle, we did a thing. Show me top knot, please. He's an idiot. He's incompetent. Not that I can really say much. Oops. At least I'm still better than the rest of them, except Scales, because he got his hands dirty. Lydia? Um. Oh dear. I think Lydia might be in trouble. Oh well. was defeated then. Oops. <gasps> ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. You have? Oh, that's good news. Guess what? Fogface is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. Oh. C Cicero, there's been an incident. Uh. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Well. No. I'll have to wait. Well, if, um, if there's a pressing matter, why are you going off to Astrid's fancy chair? Seriously, you can't be that much of a pressing matter if you're going to sit there. You're a bit of a bitch, aren't you? God! Right. Well, me and my uh, spooky friend here are going to have to love and leave you all. And next episode, we'll start off with a bang and find out what has happened with uh, good old Cicero. Oh, I hope my good old jester friend hasn't done anything naughty. Ooh. And yes, we will also go see um, Alada in good old White Run. So anyway, guys, thanks again for coming along. Hopefully I haven't bored you too much with all the waiting and so forth. And hopefully see you next time. So for now, take care.